ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರಿಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರಿಂಕರುಣಾಲಯಂಕರುಣಾಲಯಂಕರುಣಾಲಯಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೇನಂಕರವಾಹೈ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃತ್ಸುಭಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರ್ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕರ ಜೀವನ್ಯವ ಗುಣಾನತೀತ್ಯ ಅಮೃತ ಮಶ್ನುತೆ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಬೀಜ ಪ್ರತಿಲಭ್ಯ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉಚ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಸಾ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಗುಣಾನೇತಾನತೀತ್ಯ ತ್ರೀನ್ ದೇಹಿ ದೇಹ ಸಮುದ್ಭವಾನ್ ಜನ್ಮ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಜರಾ ದುಃಖ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಅಮೃತ ಮಶ್ನುತೆ ಸೊ ಅಮೃತ ಮಶ್ನುತೆ ಜೀವನ್ನೇವ ಅಮೃತ ಅಶ್ನುತೆ ಸೊ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಎತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಮೆನ್ಶನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ವೇ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ವೇದರ್ ಗುಣಾತೀತ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಮೀ ಮೀ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಇ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ದೋ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಜೀವನ್ನೇವ ಗುಣಾನತೀತ ಇಸ್ ಗುಣಾತೀತ ಇಸ್ ಜೀವನ್ನೇವ ಇಸ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಶತ್ರಂತ ಪದ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಜೀವನ್ನೇವ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಗುಣಾನಿನ ಏತಾನ್ ಅತೀತ್ಯ ದೇಹಿ ದೇಹ ಸಮ ಜನ್ಮೃತಿ ಜರಾ ದುಃಖ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಅಮೃತ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಸನ್ ಅಮೃತ ಅಶ್ನುತೆ ಬಟ್ ಗುಣಾನ್ ಏತನ್ ಅತೀತ್ಯ ತ್ರೀನ್ ದೇಹಿ ಸೊ ದೇಹ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದೇ ದೇಹಿ ದೇಹ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ದೇಹಿ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಜೀವನ್ನೇವ ಗುಣಾನ್ ಅತೀತ್ಯ ಅಮೃತ ಅಶ್ನುತೆ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಬೀಜ ಪ್ರತಿಲಭ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅಟೈನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸೀಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ವಶನಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉಚ ಸೊ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉಚ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉಚ ಕೈರ್ಲಿಂಗೈ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾನೇತಾನ್ ಅತೀತೋ ಭವತಿ ಪ್ರಭೋ ಹಿಮಾಚಾರ ಕಥನ್ ಚೈತಾನ್ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾನ್ ಅತಿ ವರ್ತತೆ ಸೊ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ he starts asking questions not one question prashna bija need not be necessarily only one there is a possibility of multiple questions now so he asks kai hi kai hi lingai hi srin gunan etan ಅತೀತಃ ಸೊ ಅತೀತ ಇಸ್ ಕರ್ತರಿತ ಅತೀತಃ ಭವತಿ ಹೇ ಪ್ರಭೋ ಕಿಮಾಚಾರ ಕಿಂ ಆಚಾರ ಸೊ ಕ ಆಚಾರ ಯಹ ಕಿಮಾಚಾರ ಗೌರಿ ಕಥಂ ಚೇತಾನ್ ಏತಾನ್ ತ್ರೀನ್ ಗುಣಾನ್ ಪ್ರತಿವರ್ತತೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಸೊ ಹೇ ಪ್ರಭು 
संबोधन हे प्रभो अतीत भवती अतीत इज कर्तरिक्त एंड डेर बाय इट्स अवर इक्वेलेंट अतीत भवती सो भवती एनी वर्ब इज ऑल्सो देर अतीत भवती कर्तरिक्त देर भवती अतीत भवती नॉट रियली सो I need not say verb equivalent. It's a, it's a person. It's indicating the jivan mukta. Who is gunatita? So gunatita na tita. You put it in a compound. It will be gunatita. That gunatita. Kai hi lingai hi. Through which lingas indicators? So that's the first question there. Through which indicators? Linga chinnas. Does he cross over? So here, etan gunan. These gunas which have been discussed. So gunan ati taha bhavati. And we already know those gunas are three. So kai lingai hi. That is the third case plural. Through which lingas does he cross over? Transgress these three gunas, O oh, Prabhu, and further kima chara ha. What kind of achara ha does he have? Katham cha. Again a question. Katham how? Katham cha. Etan teen teen gunan. Pati varthate. And how does he cross over these three gunans? Gunas. So first, through which lingas does he cross over? Means how do you know? Kim, what is his conduct, and how does he cross over these gunas? Multiple questions there. So kai hi lingai hi. So so is he ativarte the guna ativarte the? So you know is is a guna ti taha jivan mukta ha. Or uh, uh, you know, one who has sarvatma bhava in whichever way it has been said earlier, or sita pradnya, or in Bhashya elsewhere it may be since stira pradnya. All these are words for jivan mukta. So kai linga hi means linga is chinne hi. Three etan gunan, tan gunan, which have been talked about. Etan or tan. Atitaha Atikranta. Atitaha means Atikranta, one who has crossed over. Bhavati Prabhu. Kimachara Samasa is explained. You see that not much in the shloka to inquire into. It is a sum up. It is a recall and sum up. Therefore, Bhagavan Bhashyakara has a lot of time to explain the samasas as well. Kaha asya achara. Kaha asya achara is kaha achara yasya. Otherwise, we have studied in a different manner. We have yasya. Bhagavan Bhashakar uses asya. Both are interchangeable. Kaha and the order is also interchangeable. So we generally do the vigra vakyas. Kaha achara yasya. So kim in pullinga because achara is pullinga. Therefore kaha achara yasya. Then it will become kim achara. Kim is a pratipadikam there. It will be pratipadikam plus pratya. That pratya goes away in a samasa, therefore kim alone remains. So pratya is su, su pratya, su. Su pratya, kim plus su plus achara plus su in a samasa when, when you make a samasa, in a, even in a bahuri, what will happen? Both the su's will drop away. Prathama equation of suffixes will drop away. Then kim plus achara, there is a varna milana and you get kim achara. So you should not think that this kim, how did it become kaha? It is a pulling up prayoga. So kima achara, if you had the word been strilinga, you would say kima achara. And kima achara means what? Ka, uh, kaha asya achara, kaha achara yasya ha iti kima achara. That's how the vigra vakya is all done. So if, just a recall. Iti kima achara, that is the vigra vakya. Meaning what is the conduct of this person? A person has what kind of conduct? Which is that person? This gunatita. This gunatita, jivan mukta, what, what kind of conduct does he have? And katham, meaning katham is kena prakarana, prakara vachi shabda katham. 
सो केन च प्रकारण एतान तीन गुणान अतिवर्तते मिनि अतीत्य वर्तते हाउ डज ही क्रॉस ओवर इन व्हिच मॅनर डज ही क्रॉस ओवर दोस गुणास एंड स्टे एज अ जीवन मुक्त सो दिस इज द सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट अर्जुन हैज आस्क्ड सो वी वांट्स टू टेक द नेक्स्ट आई कैन आई कैन टेक बट आई हैव वन in my gita press there is another word vyakhyatan after three netan in the bhashya three netan three netan three netan vyakhyatan gunan atita okay vyakhyatan is a fine vyakhyatan means has been commented upon uh, maybe okay. it is there uh, if it is there you understand what has already been vyakhyata already commented upon so it can be there in the as a part of veda or uh, you know uh, an additional somebody has written and then it has become a part of veda either way it's fine so um, vyakhyatan means these gunas which have been commented upon earlier narrated earlier and commented upon also so they are in samana dikarani okay 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 so gunatitasya lakshanam gunatita gunatitatvopayam cha arjunena prishtah asmin shloke prashnadvayartham प्रतिवचनम भगवान उवाच यस गुणातीत से लेट्स लुक एट द सेंटेंस एट अ टाइम सो गुणातीत से लक्षणम गुणातीत से लक्षणम व्हाट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दिस पर्सन गुणातीत जीवन मुक्त एंड गुणातीतत्व उपायंच गुणातीतत्व उपाय मींस उपाय फॉर गुणातीतत्व हाउ टू अटेन दैट स्टेटस ऑफ one who has crossed over all gunas how to what is the upaya what is he means cha arjunena prashta prashta kaha bhagwan bhagwan is one who has been asked so prashta is kartari there kartari ta bhagwan who has been asked not um, prashta uh, so uh, not kartari sorry it is karmani but arjunena prashta he is a karma arjunena prashta so karma does not necessarily mean a thing so karmani vitpatti but who is that it's karma it's bhagwan bhagwan who was asked who is the object of asking he is one who has been asked so when i ask you a question so when arjuna asks a question to bhagwan then bhagwan is the object of that asking kriya so that is a karmanikta there but then it indicates a person the reason i am mentioning is that uh, sometimes this idea comes up you know prashta what kind of a ta uh, prayoga it is it is karmani but karmani does not mean necessarily mean a thing it can mean a person also that person who was asked who was bhagwan he then he becomes the karta there bhagwan vacha ki drsha bhagwan arjunena prashta bhagwan one who was asked by ask questions by arjuna that kind of bhagwan answers uvacha answers so he answered the answer prativachanam he answered the question which was asked and not one question prashna dvayartham prativachanam the answer is for the purpose of answering two questions here itself asmin shloke what are the two questions he has asked three in those two questions are what gunatita selakshanam gunatita to upayam cha and one commentator says that he answers the third also in this itself this two answers stand for the third as well so what is the characteristic of a gunatita and what is the means to that gunatita tvam these are the two questions answered here and for that purpose bhagwan uvacha yat tavat yeah further yat tavat कैही लिंगैही युक्तो गुणातीतो भवति इति तत् श्रुणु सो यत् तावत् फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कैही लिंगैही युक्तः गुणातीत भवति व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टर व्हाट आर द इंडिकेटर्स ही इज एंडोर्ड विथ सो कैही लिंगैही हियर कैही लिंगैही त्रीन गुणानति एतान अतित्य सो आई हैव नॉट डन द अन्वय देयर सो कैही लिंगैही त्रीन सो युक्तः इज बीन एडेड बाय सो कैही लिंगैही युक्तः कैही लिंगैही indicators through which indicator do we know that person or atita bhavati gunan atita bhavati 
through which lingas he with indicators he is not transgressing but the indicators are for others to know therefore yukta is endowed with those gunas which are visible to others okay, may or may not be it's a question by arjuna so kai lingai tringuna etan atita bhavati he prabhu he prabhu is when kimachara katham cha etan tringuna ativartana nothing to do there you can keep it as it is okay so no anvaya uh, it's kind of in anvaya order not much to do there so what is the shloka there so listen to the answer he says kailingaihi yuktaha yuktaha san shri bhagavan uvacha prakasham cha pravrittim cha moham eva cha pandava nadveshti sampravrittani nanavrittani kankshati so the padachheda is prakasham cha pravrittim cha moham eva cha pandava न द्वेष्टि संप्रवृत्तानि न निवृत्तानि कांक्षति सो देयर इज ओनली वन देयर आर टू देयर आर टू वर्ब्स वन इज नॉट द्वेष्टि द्वेष्टि इज वन एंड कांक्षति इज अनदर वर्ब सो सो द्वेष्टि इज प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन एंड देन कांक्षति इज आल्सो प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन या देन प्रकाशम पांडवा ऑफ कोर्स इज संबोधन प्रथम प्रकाशम इज द्वितीय एक वचन प्रकाशम इज वॉट द्वितीय एक वचन इट विल देन प्रवृत्ति में ऑल्सो चाइज ऑफ कोर्स अन्वय प्रवृत्ति में द्वितीय एक वचन इज वॉट प्रवृत्तिम द्वितीय एक वचन द्वितीय बहुवचन Okay. Anyway, let's just copy paste instead of. Okay. <laughs> so some pravrittani here. Yeah, some pravrittani na vishteti na kamshiti ya. Na nivrittani kamshiti ya. So so vishti na vishti. What does that mean? Does not hate. What does he not hate? O Pandava. Prakasham. 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 Moham. Prakasham is the effect of. सत्व गुण प्रवृत्ति इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ एंड मोह इज इफेक्ट ऑफ तामसिक गुण सो ए पांडव ही डज नॉट हेट एनी ऑफ दीज विच आर वॉट सम प्रवृत्ता यू नो बेस्ड ऑन प्रारब्ध यू कम अक्रॉस ऑल दीज एज इफेक्ट ऑफ द गुण इज मैनिफेस्ट एंड देन गुण कार्य टेक प्लेस वेदर वन गेट्स प्रकाश मीनिंग ज्ञान रूप प्रकाश एंड देर बाय सुख सत्वजन्य ज्ञान and sukha both are there and they bind nibadnati earlier we have seen nibadnati pravrutti one acts based on rajas coming up one acts so rajas karya is pravrutti one if one has to do something one just does, does it that's it does not hate that because i have to do it no why should i do it no i am not interested in jnana anymore i have enough jnana sukha also i mean nobody hates sukha but then even if it is there bhoga is there oh, i don't want bhoga let it just be that's it i mean he does not hate any of this pravrutti also no i have to you know get up and do karma why oh, might as well do it no problem there moha so there is some you know dullness because of whatever reason you know there is one gets tired and sometime you know you feel sleepy you want to do something but then tamas does not allow you that is okay for a jeevan mukta all these three are okay he does not have dvesh against any of these because they are sampravruttani they have begun prarabdha has started acting as long as the body is there all these will be there because sukshma sharira will have all of these manifest one does not have any issues with these then nivruttani when jnana which jnana the general jnana goes away does not care okay i don't remember some shloka fine does not remember mantras okay 
pravritti so i you know i wanted to do that but then i do i can't do any of this so you know sometimes uh, even if a person wants to teach there has to be some rajas even to teach so jnani does not care for this it's okay can't do it can't do it that's it prarabdha moha and anyway he does not care for this so you know there is you know sometimes you you like that dull feeling you don't feel like doing anything but then you are so active the mind is active you can't sleep also which is okay moha that kind of moha it's not delusion really but then whatever is effect of tamas sometimes tamas is necessary even to fall asleep so that also one does not crave for so does not have dvesha against it does not have akanksha so prakashan ji parish mohancha eva cha pandava so pandava has to be brought out that's it nadveshti sampravrttani so you can say etani sampravrttani nadveshti na kankshati so he pandava he pandava prakashan cha pravrttin cha moham eva cha sampravrttani sampravrttani etani we can just add etani sampravrttani or iti also is fine iti sampravrttani iti etani sampravrttani na dvishti ya na dvishti and then na nivrittani kaamshati nivrittani na kaamshati nivrittani na kaamshati cha उदूता so what is prakashan chamin sattva karya sattva karya is prakasha jnana and pravrutti is what rajas karya therefore rajak karyam pravrutti and moha meva cha moha is tamak karyam all these three are guna karya iti etani na dveshti sam pravrutani they have come up very well sam means in keeping with the karma that we have done samyak pravrutani samyak prakarshena vrittani those who have come up all these gunas have come up based on our own vasanas that we have gathered based on our own karmas across lives even after jnana they continue to be there vasana kshaya one has to really have yatna towards have prayatna towards otherwise they linger on and if they linger on you are not affected which is it is fine so etani nadveshti sampravrtani samyapravrta samyak vishaya bhavena udbhutani विषय भाव है सराउंडिंग थिंग्स देर फॉर दो विषय कंटिन्यू टू बी देर देर इज विक्षेप एंड ऑल दो आवरण इज गॉन विक्षेप कंटिन्यू सो विषय भाव है संप्रवृत्ता सम्यक विषय भाव है ना इज द मीनिंग ऑफ संप्रवृत्ता एंड प्रवृत्ता मीन्स वॉट उदूता सो सम्यक इज विषय भाव है ना some there is explained as vishaya bhavena and pravruttani is explained as udbhutani they have come up these gunas have come up how was these now for an for a jnani and ajnani the difference is shown here for an ajnani mama mama tamasa pratyo jataha tena aham moodha tatha rajasi pravruttihi mama utpanna dukhatmika tena aham rajasa pravartitaha prachalitaha swarupa kashtam mama vartate yah ayam मत्स्वूपावस्था भ्रंश तथा तथा सात्विक गुण प्रकाशात्मा मां विवेकि आपादय सुखे चंजयन बदनाती तेष्टि असम्य दर्शि सो अन अज्ञा बिकॉज ऑफ असम्य दर्शन बिकॉज ऑफ नॉट हैविंग सम्य दर्शन द्वेष्टि तानी द्वेष्टि विच आर दोस् ऑल दीज थ्री गुण कार्य प्रकाश प्रवृत्ति एंड मोह what is his thinking when tamasa pratyakamsa mama tamasa pratyo jataha oh i have got 
the effect of tamas karya now so there is a tamasa pratya there is thinking which is based on tamas now then tena aham moodha i am deluded due to that this is the thinking that one has then tatha rajasi pravrutti there is rajasi pravrutti i have to act now so some rajas has come up i have to act in some rajasik karya mama utpanna any karya any karya basically one acts upon then it, there is some rajas which is needed mama utpanna now it is i'll have to work oh some task has come up i have to work now that is dukhatmika dukhatmika is dukha eva atma swarupayasya that is this pravrutti yasya pravrutte sa pravrutti dukhatmika pravrutti i do not want to do it but i have to do it so an ajnani would say no this thing has come up it is my lot i have to do it i don't want to do it this is the thinking that an ajnani has therefore tena aham rajasa pravartita prachalita swarupa pravartita means prachalita i am i am moved by this rajas now from my own swarupa i am moved so even a student of this kind this thinking can be there one who knows rajas so this can be a seeker not the one who has attained not a jnani this can be a jnani but maybe has some jnana also paroksha jnana does not have manana siddha or does not have nishtha even manana siddha may also be there but then he is thinking on gunas and he thinks that i am really affected by all this whereas he is not affected at all because swarupata is already free the teaching has not completely worked yet for whatever reasons there are obstacles kashtam mama vartate so he thinks so you know too much of effort it is kashta for me yah ayam mat swarupa avasthana bhramshah what is the kashta there this very i thinking is a mat swarupa avasthana bhramshah that is the movement from my own swarupa that is causing me lot of trouble i did not want all this and i have to do it so he complains tatha satvika guna prakashatma ma vivekitvam apadayan but when satva guna comes up its karya is prakasha so prakasha swarupa prakashatma is prakasha swarupa satvika guna that kind of guna has come up and thereby ma vivekitvam apadayan granting me this viveka shakti now it is giving me viveka shakti so whatever i i am in i can analyze and land on sukha so sukhe cha sanjayan it gives me sukha but unfortunately this sukha binds me badnaati this prakashatma satvika guna also binds me and then sukha also binds me as its karya jnana as well as sukha both are going to bind me iti tani dveshti asamyak darshitvena ajnani whereas tadevam gunati to nadveshti sampravruttani knowing these are based on prarabdha mayon prarabdha one does not have dvesha who is that that is the jnani yatha cha satvikaadi purusha sattvaadi karyani atmanam prati prakashya nivruttani kaankshati न तथा गुणाती तो निवृत्ता कांक्षति एंड दिस आकांक्षा आई वन क्रेव दिस ज्ञानी डज नॉट क्रेव गुणाती ज्ञानी डज नॉट क्रेव यथा च सात्विकादि पुरुषः सात्विक राजसिक और तामसिक पुरुष द पुरुष हिमसेल्फ क्वालिफाइज हिमसेल्फ एज आई एम अ सात्विक पर्सन और अदर्स क्वालिफाई एम राजसिक और तामसिक वर्कॉलिक राजसिक पर्सन lazy person tamasik person who oh, a scholar satvika person indulgent dharma satvika person all these ideas are there about the person he himself has this idea within as well sattvaadi karyani then those particular karyas of sattva guna rajasika guna or tamasika guna towards oneself this is reflects atmanam prati prakashya you know subjecting all these to oneself having subjected all these to oneself who oh, these are my gunas i am this kind of a person then what happens when those particular things go away nivruttani kaankshati no i had sattva guna i crave for that then rajasika oh, i used to like that kind of a work it used to tire me but i used to enjoy the work kaankshati tamas if it is there oh, 
I mean, amazing sleep. I don't get that kind of sleep anymore. I would like to have that kind of a sleep. Whatever is the the effect, we can look into each and every effect and see whether we crave for it. Then that is the idea of an ajnani. We should drop those ideas. And what should be the case of ajnani? Natatha gunati tha nivruttani kangshati. If they go away, they come by prarabdha. They go by prarabdha. I do whatever is needed in the moment without, you know, initially maybe complaining also I do. Then you drop the complaint over a period of time. You drop the complaints. Then you just do it. You know, you bite your tongue. Then over a period of time, you don't need to bite your tongue because jnana stabilizes and then na kangshati ichyartaha gunatita. Etan na parapratyakshan lingam. This is not known to others. That is why jnani, so what is this saying really? How does one know what is the linga? Hey, this linga is not seen by others. If you try to find out, you cannot know. That is why second chapter, Sita Pradnyasya, Kabhasha, all that Arjuna had already asked. Now it is summed up. Did you understand then? No. That now you understand at least. So this is the Krishna's thinking. Krishna is saying, I have already explained this, but then you had so many questions. Now these questions are hopefully reducing because so much has been taught. And now finally, this linga that you are looking for cannot be seen by others. Only a jnani knows himself that I am a jnani or not. When he th knows has jnana, he does not think himself as a jnani. He, he knows that he was ever mukta. Never bound. He was never bound. Let alone becoming jnani now. So, etanna parapratyakshan lingam. It is not pratyaksha to other. Kim tarhi. Then what is the case? Swatma pratyakshatvat atmartham neva etal lakshanam. This lakshana is atmartham eva for oneself. Again, reflexive here. Only for oneself this indicator is there. I can measure my own sadhana into fructification, whether I have reached my goal. It is pratyaksha to me. Therefore, no one can answer the question for you. Am I jnani? How long should I do this? How long should Shravana Manana continue? There, you know, Vidyaranacharya says, why do you complain? In the sixth chapter of Panchadashi, incidentally, that's the thing that I'm looking at now, editing that. So, there he says, the Shishya asks, how long should I do this? He says, what kind of a question is this? How long should I do it? Jnana is working. And what does this Jnana says? You are completely free. Why do you care how long? You are free. Do you like your freedom? Then be there. What is there? How long? You are ever free. Now, at least now you know that you are free. You remain there. There is nothing to say how long. Because so far, if things are troubling you, then you can say, how long should I do it? But here, this is your very nature which is being taught to you, you continue in that. Why do you question about how long? This is something that you should be happy about. Why do you even complain about that? Because this becomes our habit, you know, how long, how long? We have been measuring everything in time. So there Vidyaranachara asks him to drop off that thinking, the student. You are into it, that's it. This is your very nature. You remain in that. Whatever you are doing, this you continue. Whatever you are doing which is working for you to remain in Nishtha, remain in Atma Tattva, you continue as long as it doesn't become your nature. This is going to come up in the Bhashya also in, uh, in other words. So, Swatma Pratyakshatvat, Hetav Panchami, due to being Pratyaksha only to oneself, therefore, Atma Artham Eva Etal Lakshanam. It is only for your own purpose that you have this Linga that comes up. The chinna comes up only for you to know. It has no use for the others. Others can do some guesswork and, you know, if they don't have better business, it can go on, you know, discussion boards, whether this person is a jnani or not. People are more worried about whether other is a jnani than their own trying to become a jnani. Very unfortunate. You look at discussion boards, you'll see this, whether he was a jnani or not. And... The most unfortunate part of that discussion is whether or not the other person of the jnani, the one who is inquiring and says, no, he was not a jnani, that person 
is doing the sadhana if he is a sadhaka is doing the sadhana assume that he will become a jnani while denying the others a jnana so what is the hope for this person who is not even comparable to the other who is not a jnani he thinks that he is not a jnani how will i get jnana if i keep on looking at others that he does not have jnana who is spent who has spent a long time whereas i continue doing all sorts of things i want to refute the other having jnana that you know whoever is a saintly person we say oh, he is not a jnani but i have hopes in the same sadhana to get jnana and become a jnani it is ridiculous people don't see that flaw very unfortunate but then that's what uh, kali yuga is all about so swatma pratyakshatvat atmartham eva etal lakshanam you can never know jnani the debate is useless nahi swatma vishayam dvesham akanksham va parah pashyati swatma vishayam dvesha or akanksha whether i have dvesha or craving meaning raga or dvesha akanksha here is in sense of raga whether there is dvesha or raga in my own mind that is an object to my own self it cannot be my un, uh, unless someone has a siddhi one cannot know so swatma vishayam which is my own object my own mind is my own object whether it has dvesha or raga can be known only to me paraha na pashyati others cannot know this is the reason that swatma pratyakshatvat atmartham eva etad lakshanam meaning lingam na tu para pratyaksham that is the 22nd verse what is the 23rd who wants to take this i can try hello hello so i can hear you okay okay अथ इदानी गुणाती गुणाती प्रश्न से प्रतिवचन आह सो थर्ड क्वेश्चन विच इज लेफ्ट नाउ इट इज बीइंग आंसर्ड देयर आफ्टर आफ्टर आंसरिंग द फर्स्ट टू क्वेश्चन गुणाती किचार वॉट इज द कंडक्ट ऑफ दिस गुणाती प्रश्न से दैट क्वेश्चन इज बीइंग आंसर्ड प्रतिवचन आह The question, answer to that question is being given. <coughs> so Bhagwan says, "What does he say?" Udasina vadasino, gunairyo na vicharyate, guna vartanta ityeva, yovatista ti nengate. Yeah. Okay. So there, there are three words. Kriya vicharya. Oh, okay. Udasina vad, adasina. उदासीनवर्तंते So you have vicharyate, uh, avatishtati, and uh, ingate, kriya pada, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. vicharyate is a prathama purusha ekavachana, and all three are prathama purusha ekavachana. No, vartante is a uh, prathama purusha bahu achana. उदासीन प्रथम विभक्ति what is here in, is vating pratyaya not matu pratyaya oh, and if okay. it is matu pratyaya then it will be udasina van oh, okay so it would be and udasina van uh, would not be udasina is already uh, you know krudanta okay. udasina van would be very odd word perhaps this mm-hmm. is an obvious yeah 
Oh, we are okay. And uh, you know, udasina, udasina, what like an udasina, like okay. asina, shana janta. Similarly, okay. udasina, shana janta, like udasina. This is a tadita, wating pratya. Wating is like. So like, okay. use it like, like udasina, as though neutral. Okay. Asina is remaining. As that is shana janta. So one who is remaining as though neutral. Mm -hmm. That is the meaning here. Now, which all you say does not move. Yaha, one who does not move yeah. due to what? Due to gunas. Which all you say, or rather you can say, which all you say is karmani prayoga. So, one who is not moved by gunas. Guna, guna is kartari titiya. Okay. So, yaha udasina vad asina ha guna hi na which all you say. One who is not moved by gunas. Mm -hmm. And how? How is it not moved? Gunaha vartante iti. Iti na vichalyate. Iti hetu. That iti would be hetu. Because he knows that gunas are there. He knows that gunas continue to be there. Guna guneshu vartante. Iti matwa na sajjate. He does not connect with this gunas and therefore he says gunas are there. Let them be there. He is not moved by those gunas and remains as though neutral. As though neutral with all the gunas. Eva, yaha. Avatishtate, Avatishtati. It's a, it's a uh, Avatishtate. It should have been Avatishtate. Avapurvaka should have been Tishtate. But this is uh, Arsha Prayoga. It is Arsha Prayoga. And na ingate, na ingate, na na prachalati. So he is, he does not move. Does not is not moved by the punas and thereby remains. Yaha avatishtati as guna vartante iti heto eva yaha avatishtati avatishtate sa na ingate does not connect. So, anyway, there is uh, uh, it is in unwear order itself. What is udasina? What, what is yatha? Yatha udasina ha na kasichit paksham bhajate. Just like a neutral person does not take, you know, neutral as in no, who is who does not have any biases. That way is neutral to any party. Therefore, Kasachit Pakshamna Bhajate, he does not take anybody's side. Similarly, Tatha. Tatha Ayam Gunati Taha. This Gunati Taha, what happens? Ayam Asina. How? Gunati Tattu Upaya Margi Avastitaha Asina. Asina means Avastita. He is, he is remaining in what kind of Marga? In the Marga. Which is the upaya to gunati tattvam. So he continues to remain neutral. That is the path to cross over gunati tattvam, uh, cross over gunas. Therefore, it is atma with asina, atma with this atma with atmanam vetti iti atma with upapada tattvurusha. One who knows atma, atma meaning jnani, gunaihi yaha sanyasi, that jnani is a sanyasi. Otherwise, you, you continue to be in the ashrama, then you are connected to Grasta ashrama, then oh, my spouse, my children, definitely there will be biases. One cannot remain neutral anymore. Oh, my people, my friends, that will continue to be there. Only a sannyasi who has given up his family, he will not have these biases. No, vichalyate. Why? He is Viveka Darshana Avasthataha. Avast due to avasthata, due to the avastha of tasilanta, due to being in the samyak darshana, viveka darshana. Tadetas puti karoti, and that is explained clearly. He explains clearly. Sputi karoti means he explains clearly. Gunaha karya karana vishyakara parinataha anyaha anyasmin vartante itiyavatishtati. One who remains. In the understanding, what kind of understanding? Gunas, which are karya, karana, vishya, kara, parinataha. These gunas have modified themselves into karya, karana, ityadi, because sattva rajas tamas is maya. These maya gunas have converted their maya is parinami karana. Therefore, she undergoes all kinds of changes. Gunas undergo the changes as karya, karana, vishaya, all these three. And in that form, when the gunas change, they anyaha, anya guna, anyasmin gunevartante or anyasmin gunakari. 
continues to, there is a guna and guna karya interaction they remain in gunas remain in guni and thereby they continue to interact with each other iti iti heto iti iti in thinking in this manner vartante iti one who remains avatishtati what is avatishtati chando bhanga bhayat parasmai pada prayoga ha this parasmai pada prayoga is because otherwise it will break the anushtupa chanda anushtup chanda needs this to be avatishtati if you make avatishtate then e becoming a it will become dirgha and will break the chanda therefore chando bhanga bhayat parasmai pada prayoga this is a possibility that bhagwan bhashyakara says why the rishi use this kind of a you know he said this or rishi said it or maybe he saw krishna saying it he heard it exactly so he why did he use that krishna also why did he use it because chanda will break otherwise they have license to use twist the rules a little and we learn otherwise another part could be instead of avatishtati it can be anutishtate an anut anutishtati which will not break the parasmai pada rule because the anutish anu will not change it to atmane pada dhatu atmane padi anupurvaka sta will not need that change yo anutishtati iti va pathantaram so yo avatishtati or yo anutishtati there are two pathas that is also possible part of it na ingate means na chalati does not move meaning what swarupa avastha eva bhavati ityartha this one remains in one soul swarupa next kincha who wants to take this anyone or should i take it okay let me take it kincha no i can try it okay okay shall i try yeah okay kincha समदुखस्वस्थ समलोष्टाश्म कांचन तुल्य प्रिया प्रियो तुल्य प्रिया प्रियो धीरस्यत्मस्तुतिदुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्तुखस्
bias towards any of these he does not care for make differentiating people based on whether they praise him or whether they criticize him sama dukha sukha so same dukha suke yasya sa sama dukha suka all vigra vakya swasta is swe swetishtita is or swetishtati really sta is explained as tita it is not vigra vakya really swe is atmani swe atmani in oneself one is tita thereby prasanna that's the idea he is satisfied with the way things are with the way he is swarupa whatever i am that's a, that's what i am he remains in swarupa other than whatever okay. he really is other things are mithya anyway samaloshtashma kanchana loshtancha ashmaacha kanchanancha loshtashma kanchanani samaniyasya these are equal for him all these he is samaloshtashma kanchana tulya priya priya means priyanta apriyanta priya priye they are tulye meaning same yasya saayam tulya tulya priya priya dhira is dhiman viveki tulya nindatma samstuti means nindacha atma samstutischa nindatma samstuti dual itare itara dvandva then tulye nindatma samstuti yasya bauri yate who is that has to be yati otherwise you know somebody praises and criticizes we get carried away tulya nindatma samstuti nothing much there kincha further okay i'll take this i'll take the rest so we can try and finish this if possible not much there possible so kincha what manapamanayoh oh yeah so verse manapamanayo stulya stulyo mitra ripakshayoh सर्वारंभ परित्यागी गुणाती तस्सौच्यते सो मान अपमानयोः तुल्यः एंड तुल्यः मित्र अरि पक्षयोः मित्रारि पक्षयोः मीन्स मित्र एंड अरि मित्र इज अ फ्रेंड अरि इज एन एनिमी सो दे दे हैव देयर पक्ष मित्र पक्ष एंड अरि पक्ष ही इज तुल्य दिस हैज कम अप अर्लियर इन अ डिफरेंट मॅनर बाय सेइंग उदासीन मान एंड अपमान दिस इज आल्सो बीन एक्सप्लेन्ड हियर एज ninda and atma samstuti ninda if one does then one thinks that it has an apamana samstuti is mana so it's a sum up there one who has is tulya towards all of these opposites there the opposites that is the idea there further sarvarambha parityagi who gives up any arambha he gives up all undertakings he does not plan out say that okay i'll do this i'll do that he has given up completely that is possible only for a sanyasi again and uh, sanyasi even especially one who does not have any ashram association otherwise there are ashram ashram karya sanyasi has some duties which is bound uh, because of the ashram has to take care of dharma there gunatita sauchyate he is called as gunatita so manapamanayo tulya meaning samaha he is nirvikara he does not change based on mana and apamana तुल्य मित्र अरिपक्षयो मित्रारिपक्षयो यद्यपि उदासीनाः भवन्ति केचित् स्वाभिप्रायेण ऑल्सो सम थिंग्स देमसेल्फ एज व्हेन व्हेन यू सी योर ओन बिहेवियर यू सी दैट ओके आई एम क्वाइट बैलेंस्ड व्हेन इट कम्स टू अ फ्रेंड और एनिमी ऑल्सो वन मे एनालाइज इट तथापि पराभिप्रायेण थ्रू द पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ अदर्स आल्सो मित्रारिपक्षयोर इव भवन्ति इति तुल्यः मित्रारिपक्षयो इत्याह इट इज नॉट इन माय पर्सपेक्टिव दैट आई एम तुल आई एम इक्विपोइज टुवर्ड्स अ फ्रेंड एंड एनिमी अर्लियर अर्लियर फ्रेंड एंड एनिमी आई एम इक्विपोइज नॉट ओनली इन माय माइंड बट इट अपीयर्स सो फॉर अदर्स आल्सो दीज आर दीज आर लिंगर्स व्हिच अदर्स कैन सी others can find out that whether my behavior with a friend and enemy is same not only i do others also can see that is the idea of mitra ripakshayo ho tulya then sarvarambha parityagi drishta drishtarthani karmani arabhyante iti aramba what does this arambha in the sarvarambha arambha means arabhyante iti aramba those karmani vitpatti meaning what those which are begun and what are what are begun karmas are begun so the activities which are begun which are drishta and adrishta arthani which have a goal 
result as drushta phala or adrushta phala for that purpose the karmas are begun but this person does not have those arambhas he has given up all arambhas he has given up those karmas which are for the sake of getting adrushta phala or adrushta phala he does not want those therefore sarvan arambhan meaning karmani parityaptum shilam asya and this is a nini pratyant shabd uh, ya parityage nini nini pratya therefore there is a shila artha this tachilya nini asya iti sarvarambha parityagi therefore he is one who is has given up all arambhas and pari paritaha means completely given up not you know once in a while okay i you know i feel like doing something for getting the result not that way he has given up completely so sanyasi basically deha dharana matra nimitta vyatirekena sarva karma parityagi ichyartha so he does only those karmas which are useful for deha dharana matra only to keep the sustain the body the body has been entrusted we take care of it it has been entrusted unto me in this life it has helped me as a sadhana to get myself this mukti therefore i have to take care of the body not that i have to take care and you know uh, do alankara i just take care so that it remains whatever is the prarabdha let that continue so long the deha is going to continue so i take care of it only to that extent this is the idea deha deha dharana matra nimitta vyatirekena sarva karma tvarityagi anything more than that is a luxury one drops that and that is the gunatita gunatita sa uchyate he is called as gunatita udasinavat ityadi gunatita sa uchyate between 23rd and 25th iti etadantam uktam yavat yatna sadhyam tavat sanyasina anushtheyam gunatitatva sadanam mumukshoho stiribhutam tu swasamvedyam sat gunatitasya te lakshanam So what has been said between these twenty-third and twenty-fifth verses is yuktam yavata. What has been said is, but yatna sadhyam. All these are as answer to what question? Atayidanim gunati ta kimacharaha. What is the conduct of this person? This conduct is either yatna sadhya, meaning it is to be gained with effort. All these are mentioned in the. three verses 23rd 24th and 25th these are to be attained with effort or they are to be they will become effortless so how long should one do it till it becomes effortless so for a sadhaka sadhaka sanyasi it is to be attained with yatna so mumukshoho mumukshoho gunatitatva sadhanam anushtheyam he has to he has to sanyasina mumukshu so sanyasi is sanyasina mumukshu are in samana dikrana a mumukshu is a sanyasi he should practice all these as earning this gunati tattva so yatna sadhyam there is effort involved but sthiri bhutantu once it becomes sthira it becomes your second nature then sva samvedyam sat it is known only to you that i am making no efforts effortlessly i am a, i am seeing no difference between an enemy and friend effortlessly that is sva samvedyam sat gunati tasyate he lakshanam bhavati that is the idea here practice is necessary for all of these till it becomes my second nature okay it's already time uh, i don't want to rush through it there are uh, three more verses uh, two more i think 26 and 27 uh, easy verses but then let's uh, do it in the next part ha huh? and uh, i can take some time and finish it but let's not hurry i'll finish it in the next part and we'll take up the 15 chapter also in continuation नारायण परोक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्तुमे लोका सप्तद्वीपाच मे दिनी एनी क्वेश्चंस अस इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट हा
नमस्ते नमस्ते